Welcome to the Chasing Spirituality Podcast. I'm your host, Megan, and I'm so excited that you're joining me today. Each episode is full of heartfelt and expansive content that will really help you expand your consciousness and grow as a person. I created this podcast because I wanted to share my own personal experiences on my spiritual journey, but I also wanted to meet others and have them share what they've been through, and how they've gotten to where they are today. If you haven't done so already, it would really mean a lot to me if you could rate and review the podcast. This really helps the podcast grow and reach more people, but it also allows me to get more guests on the show. Now on to today's topic. Hello everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Chasing Spirituality. If you're a community member, you're getting to uh, experience this episode early and you're also getting to see the video of this episode. In the future, this episode may also be uploaded to YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing more videos and you're normally listening to the podcast on Spotify or Apple, I do have some videos posted over there on YouTube. Um, but today, um, I had a few ideas, a few things I was interested in talking about, and then I decided, or it just came to me to talk about an experience that I had today. Um, so today I went to the, the sunflower fields that are not too far from where I live, and I went with a friend of mine, um, a few friends of mine and their daughter, and we went to just see the sunflowers because who doesn't love sunflowers? But we also wanted to take pretty pictures and just have a nice experience. So we got dressed up and I've posted the, some of those pictures um, on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, I am on Instagram. That's at chasing.spirituality. And then I also have those cross posted to the Facebook um, page, which is just chasing spirituality. So if you don't follow me on the social media, make sure you go and do that so that you can see pictures and stuff like that when I post them. And I'll, I'll always post something for every episode that comes out and stuff going on in the community and stuff like that. So, but anyways, so go check out those pictures if you're interested in seeing the sunflower fields. But when we got there, you know, um, we walked towards the fields and this butterfly comes out and it lands on me. And at first it lands on my leg and I look down and I see the butterfly and I'm like, okay, well, it's just just stay in there it's not going anywhere and so I just keep going about my business helping coordinate and take pictures and stuff like that and then I, I move and when I move I go in between some sunflowers so the butterfly flies away and it comes right back and this time it lands on my side on my dress and then it flies away and lands on my arm and it's just stay in there like it's just hanging out there and it won't leave and on several occasions I have to move and I you know bop something or I touch something and I get the butterfly to fly away and it comes back it keeps coming back and it keeps landing on me it's not landing on the entire group it's landing on me specifically no matter what I do and I've got pictures of that as well and it's like on my hand and it's just really it was just really cool and so um, as we're leaving and the butterfly has gone, um, my friend Rebecca, she says, well, so what do you think that means? You know, like, what do you think that, 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 that means? And I just told her, I was like, well, I think it's just a sign from spirit. Um, I don't know exactly what the um, exact interpretation is, but it is a, a message from spirit. Spirit wants us to know that they're with us. And then as we leave a little bit more, we start walking a little bit more, I just get this intuitive knowing that claircognizance clicks on and is like, yes, spirit is with you. Your mother is with you. And then it all clicked because my mom, her favorite flower was sunflowers. And everyone knew this about my mom. She collected sunflower everything. Growing up, we had um, 
sunflower plates and cups and mats and just all her entire kitchen was decorated in sunflowers. I have a sunflower blanket. I don't think I have it um, here today, but I usually have it on this chair. It, it was hers. And so it was like, it was confirmation for me that yes, like it was her. And I wanted to share that experience with you because a lot of signs and symbols and things that spirits send us are very subtle, very subtle like that. You know, sometimes it's a really neat experience where there's a certain um, bug that won't leave you alone that keeps coming back or a certain animal or something like that. But it's more so just those little moments of this is this is really cool. Like this is a unique experience and you just get that feeling that it means something more. You don't always have to know what it means and if you're meant to know what it means I wholeheartedly believe that you will find out the message if there's a meaning attached to what you're experiencing the message will come you just have to trust and be patient and then when the message does come you have to trust yourself that's really important because that's where a lot of people struggle is they'll know you'll get that knowing we all have it we all are clear cognizant we get inner knowings and feelings all the time. And then when things happen, we say, oh my gosh, I knew that. I knew that that was going to happen. I told you so. Or I should have trusted myself. How many of you who have heard that, have experienced that? Because I know I have. And now that I've learned to trust myself more, I don't have to kick myself in the butt as much. <laughs> But sometimes I still do. Sometimes I don't trust that that inner knowing. Because that, that process, I feel like that builds. As you begin to love yourself more, trust yourself more, know yourself more, your gifts grow and you trust those more. So it is something that takes a lot of work and a lot of effort to keep you... Um, to keep you open to trusting that spirit is always communicating with you. And that's the truth. I've learned, if nothing else, that spirit is always with us. And so start paying attention to the signs. Start paying attention to the little things, the little symbols, the little things that you might often overlook. There is no such thing as coincidence. And even if you don't know exactly what the symbol means, trust that it's still a symbol and that if nothing else, it means that spirit is with you. Your loved ones are with you. Your guides, your angels, they're with you. Because I honestly feel most of the time, that's all the message is. It's not to warn you of something or to tell you to do anything differently. They love you wherever you're at on your path, no matter what decisions you're making. Now, if you ask them directly to help you with something, of course they will. They'll do their best to guide you. But they also know that this is your life and this is your experience. And you're the one that has to make the choices. And you're the one that has to experience whatever the choice, whatever outcome of those choices, you know, come to be. So trust the signs and symbols. They're everywhere. If someone out of the corner of your eye catches uh, your attention because they look like your father who passed away. And then once you look at them, you're like, oh my gosh, that looks nothing like my dad. Why did I think that? It was probably for a reason. If the same song comes on the radio three times in one day and that song reminds you of someone or just makes you feel connected to source. Trust that. Trust us for a reason. You don't always have to know what the meaning is behind the symbol. And another great tool that you can use if you feel like there is more that you need to know. And I caution against thinking that everything means there's something more to know. Because most of the time, like I said, there really is no meaning. 
It's just, they want you to know that they're there. But if for some reason you are intuitively feeling like there's more to the message, ask. Ask. Say, what does this mean? What are you trying to tell me? If you're not getting an answer, then it's probably because they're not trying to tell you anything specific. Or you're, you're just not ready to know what they're trying to tell you yet. The more that you set aside time to connect to your higher self, to connect to your guides and loved ones, the if there is something more for you to know, the more likely it will come through during those moments. I like to set aside time to meditate, um, typically every day. And it's not long. It's 15 minutes, sometimes 10, sometimes up to 30. But I just, I cleanse myself. I call in my spirit team. I do um, hape and I sit and I meditate. And I ask that my guides, my spirit team, my angels, my loved ones, that they just bring through anything that I need. Anything I need to know, anything I need to feel, anything I need to experience, just whatever that looks like or sounds like or feels like, just bring it forward. And sometimes I just sit here and I feel my own energy. I feel my own energy flow up and down the chakras. Um, sometimes I feel my guides come forward. Sometimes I can tell which guide it is. Sometimes it feels like it's all of them. Sometimes they give me messages. They send me downloads and things that I need to know. And when those things, ha when that happens, when I start channeling, that's usually um, a time where I'll get out my journal and I'll try to um, kind of automatic write what's coming through. Sometimes I jump on my phone and I just record an audio podcast of what's coming through. That's happened many times. So you have to start with trusting trusting the nudges the intuitive feelings the signs and the synchronicities and the symbols then just the knowings the knowings when something's about to happen or when you know that this sign means to check in on this person it doesn't matter how you know it, it just matters that you do and that you trust it so common signs and symbols i can give you a few of those i guess um, birds, any animal really, insects, butterflies, dragonflies, all of those things are common enough to be in our environment, um, but also not so common that they're always around us, you know. Um, like I mentioned earlier, songs, songs that have some kind of emotional meaning to you, even if you've never heard the song before, but the song comes on and it instantly makes you think of someone or it makes you feel a certain way, you know, those are signs as well. I do feel like if you have a connection to music, you will often be directed and guided to find songs for particular situations, scenarios, people, things that you're going through. So songs, yeah, that's a really beautiful one. Um, running into someone that you wouldn't normally run into just um smelling certain smells that maybe remind you of someone like cut grass or coffee just getting a feeling of that person's presence if it's a loved one that's passed so someone that's passed away they just randomly pop into your mind or you smell something that you know reminds you of them trust those trust those signs when they come up and just trust it. Really, they just want you to know that they're there and acknowledge it. When you acknowledge that they're there, when you acknowledge that they're with you, that's when you're going to start to see the signs really pick up pace a lot more. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And um, if you haven't done so already, please leave me a rating and review. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with someone you love. And it would mean so much to me if you could rate, review, and subscribe so that the podcast can reach and assist more people. Until next time, I'm sending you so much love.